Hello, Dr. James Martin with another Biblical Prescription for Life. Today, we're going to answer a question that has come in after we did the gluten insensitivity video. We had some questions come in about Hashimoto's thyroid disease. So we're going to talk about that today. But before we do that, let's go to a Biblical prescription, something you can hold on to today Think about, let it go over and over in your brain, um, change the way we live. And that's James 3, verses 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Hold that with you just, just a moment today as we talk about this question. What is Hashimoto's disease? And does it fit in with gluten sensitivity? And I think this is a great question and I want you to encourage to bring your questions in because we can answer them. And if one person has this question, many person has this question. And this is a great, um, question to answer today. Um, sometimes in a doctor's office, the doctor doesn't have that much time to deal with you. And sometimes reading the internet and books, it just overwhelms you. So I'm going to break this down to very simply. So what is Hashimoto's disease? It's a big fancy name, but let's break it down to the organ first that it affects. And that's the thyroid. It's an organ that sits up here and it makes hormones that basically regulates your metabolism. So it's very important. Many of us, of course, as we age, run out of thyroid hormone. So in evaluating this, um, in evaluating the thyroid gland, we, if it's malfunctioning, a person usually has a symptom. And it can have many different symptoms, and such as fatigue, tired, weight gain because you're not metabolizing much, cold, um, you go constipated, dry skin is another one, um, edema, if it's bad, losing your hair. It can be a cause of depression. It can even be cause of memory problems. So those are some, some, some common symptoms of thyroid disease. So if you think you might have this, a doctor will first do a history and a physical. He might feel the thyroid. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. And then if he's suspicious, he'd measure the thyroid hormone in the blood. That's how much the thyroid is being made by the thyroid gland. And they usually check something called thyroid stimulating hormone. That is the hormone that the brain makes that stimulates the thyroid to make its own hormones. Tells you how much you need. So in Hashimoto's disease, um, it's also called chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis, lymphocells. It's an autoimmune disorder. And what that means, autoimmune, the body attacks itself, and it specifically is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the thyroid gland. Um, so, so really, so this is the immune system attacks the thyroid glands, um, and this causes inflammation because of the lymphocytic cells and it damages the gland. And when the gland's damaged, it doesn't make its hormone. And it's, we, we call this situation hypo, H-Y-P-O, thyroidism. So the level of T4 um, goes down. Um, we see that. And here is a picture of the thyroid gland in case you've never seen it before. Here's a picture of the thyroid gland that regulates metabolism. Okay, so Hashimoto's disease, um, and it causes a wide range of these symptoms. Um, the exact cause of what triggers the immune system is unknown, but it's thought to be a combination of your genetic susceptibility and environmental factors. And women are more likely to develop than men, and it often runs in families. So we talked about the blood tests that do it, and in the blood, you'd see a high level of TSH, because the, the, the brain says you got to make more thyroid since it's inflamed and a low level of um, the thyroid hormones. Treatment for this, okay, first of all, you have to make the diagnosis that it's not anything else. Treatment 
can sometimes focus on if, if the thyroid hormones aren't really whacked up too bad, can focus on treating um, the immune system. And there's lots of ways we can make the immune system better. And if the immune system doesn't get better, um, we can't turn off this inflammatory response. And the treatment is replacing it with thyroid hormone replacements. And we measure that every so often to get the dose perfect. Now, in rare casings of Hashimoto's disease, it can lead to a complication um, such as an um, enlargement of the thyroid gland. Whenever it's enlarged, there are some complications of it. It's rare, but you can develop nodules or cancer, so it needs to be monitored over time. So basically, Hashimoto's is the body, immune system, attacks the thyroid gland. We don't know exactly what causes it. The thyroid malfunctions. The treatment for it would be to try to make the immune system as good as we can so it doesn't attack. So some people go on special diets. Some people even try certain botanicals. Those are there's different types of plants that might help knock down the immune system. The immune system is knocked down. Sometimes the thyroid gets going again. However, before we leave this topic, so you have a symptom, you get diagnosed. But the key to making this diagnosis, the Hashimoto's, is making sure it's nothing else. So the way we make this diagnosis is measuring the antibodies um, of the thyroid. Um, one of the antibodies we measured is thyroid peroxidase. The other one is thyroglobulin. Um, these are these we can measure the antibodies as it attacks these things and know that we have an autoimmune reaction. Now, there are other things that can turn down the thyroid as well. One is a deficiency in iodine. So we like to measure the iodine. Um, in the past, we used to have um, iodine deficiencies and people would have a goiter. And here is a picture of a goiter. Not a good thing to have. So we don't see goiters too much in countries that have salt with iodine in it. Other things that can cause it are certain medications can hurt the thyroid. I use one in cardiology called amiodarone, but there's one that's used for seizures called lithium. So there's other medicines that can do it. Um, radiation, if you ever have head and neck cancer or some other problems, you sometimes you get radiation to the area that can damage the thyroid. It's rare, but you could have some type of accident that would damage it. Sometimes people get some benign or malignant nodules that affect the functioning of the thyroid gland. And another common cause is you get an um, inflammation, you get an infection, either a bacteria or virus that causes what we call thyroiditis, inflammation. Usually this, after the um, inflammatory process, it would go down. Well, how would you know if that was the case? Well, you would um, do a history and physical, examine the thyroid, feel for nodules, make sure there's no history of radiation, check the thyroid antibodies, check the iodine level, and then if that was all good, uh, maybe it would pass in time. And finally, another thing that can cause um, thyroid to malfunction is if there's a damage to the pituitary pituitary or the hypothalamus gland in the brain that turns on the thyroid stimulating hormone, which causes the thyroid to start making hormones on its own. So Hashimoto's is just a type of low thyroid usually. We call that hypothyroidism. Other things can cause it by this is probably the most common an autoimmune reaction. Other things that can um, damage the thyroid can also make the thyroid overactive. And if an overactive thyroid, it causes just the opposite. You lose weight, you're jittery, your heart goes fast, you get hot. Um, it's just almost the opposite. And overactive thyroid, we call that Graves' disease. So these are things that um, we needed to answer today. And this person talking about, they want to know what Hashimoto's disease is. So that's basically the body attacking itself with antibodies, damaging the thyroid, and the thyroid doesn't make the hormones that it needs to keep the metabolism of your body going. So I hope that sort of answers it, sort of gives you a sort of a feel that how the thyroid's worked up. Um, make sure you don't have iodine or other things that's triggering it too. Because just because you have an underactive thyroid doesn't mean it's necessary Hashimoto. Some people just get old and they run out of thyroid hormone as they get old as well. So it would take a few testing and history physical to determine the cause. But before we leave, let's go back to our biblical prescription. That's James 3 verse 17. But the wisdom 
I didn't say knowledge, I didn't say fact, I didn't say AI, but the wisdom that is from above, that's from God, that's found in the Bible, that's found in his life by studying him. The wisdom from above is first. This is descriptions of that type of wisdom. It's pure, it's peaceable, it's gentle. It's willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. That's sort of the wisdom that's coming from above, that's coming from the God. That's the kind of wisdom that I wanna listen to. So I'm Dr. James Markham. I want you to share this, pass this to friends and neighbors. Think about joining our worship app at biblicalprescriptions.com. On your, on your devices, and we'll be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.